everybody who has an issue with either their cervical spine or their back that they please get a second opinion and they do their research. If you're looking for something that's mentally invasive, um, highly effective where it gives you 100% or close to 100% pain control and gives you a really good quality of life, don't hesitate to come down to Dr. Duke. Um, he's the man, he'll be able to fix you. Bye. Okay, I don't want to cry. I want to look good. I'm a repeat customer. This is my second time around. I'm from the Chicago area. I flew down here to Melbourne just to have Dr. Duke do my surgery. Um, I had a cervical neck injury where I face planted onto the cement, texting on my cell phone, not paying attention with my cervical neck. Um, that was 18 months ago. Totally pain-free, he fixed me, have no issues with my neck. And I think probably in the last six months, I've had some subtle symptoms with the sciatica and different things, but they've gotten progressively worse. And when I decided to finally go in and get PT and check with my doctor, um, he ordered the MRI and then when he said, you need a neurosurgeon immediately. And I wanted to avoid a disectomy or a fusion of my spine. At that point, I told him, I have the guy. I love Dr. Duke and I'm gonna go to Florida and I'm gonna have the same surgeon that fixed my neck. And I can't stress enough to let you know that Dr. Duke is one of a kind. And he's the one who offers even a surgical warranty, which is basically unheard of in this day and age. Um, he's my man. I just feel like a celebrity. I should have worn my, my Chicago shirt. Around. I had my Chicago shirt on the last time. I'll wear it tomorrow for you guys. Okay? So it's unbearable. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I have burning across the sacral area and my spine in the back. Um, I have muscle spasms going down my right leg. It's very difficult for me even to drive a car. When I drive the car, my right leg goes numb. Uh, prolonged sitting positions, pinch in my leg, my upper. Can't sleep. I can't remember the last three months how I've had a good night's sleep because the pain keeps me up. I'm assuming that my condition wasn't, isn't an injury. Um, it was caused by degenerative arthritis, which I've had over the years. I have it in my family. Um, and it just kind of deteriorated my spine where no injury was involved. It's just a natural part of aging. There you are. Hi, Dr. Duke. So good to see you. Good to see you, too. I understand you're having some back problems. Lots of them. Yes. Right. How's, the, uh, how's the neck doing? The neck is wonderful. I haven't felt the pain since the day you fixed me. Good. Seriously. Good. Seriously. But I am suffering tremendously with this back stuff. Right now I'm sitting like this because mm. mm -hmm. it's in my butt. Let me see. We know what's wrong. We know you have some bad discs in your lower back and we know how to fix them. Okay. We can do that without open surgery. We'll do it endoscopically. Okay, and that's why I'm here. I don't want any hardware in my back. There won't be any hardware. And I'm counting on I'm not going to have the pain when I wake up. I can't wait. Right, we'll Duke. see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, I will. With my first surgery, I woke up and I immediately was pain-free. Morning. I'm looking forward to being pain-free and looking forward to meeting the team in a few minutes for this life-changing surgery. The reason I came to Florida, because Dr. Duke is one of a kind. He's the only, actually, I think the only neurosurgeon in the world that he developed this Duke laser technique, and he's the only one who does this surgery. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready for your surgery? Today's the day. All right. I'm more than ready. Now, where are you having your pain? I'm having it in my sacral area, the back. It's burning right now. and So in your back, your lower back? My lower back, and uh, it's radiating into my right thigh and down my right leg into my foot. Down your right leg Sciatica into Sciatica pain. Sciatica pain, okay. Yeah. Nothing on the left side? Uh, a twinge here and there. That could be just due to my age. Okay. All right, well, we're going to get, get you back to the operating room and get your surgery done. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Duke. You're welcome.
see you back there. Okay. All right. There are other minimally invasive things you can do, but they allow for breaking in the bones, manipulation, and other things. And I'm choosing not to do that. I've got a long life ahead of me. And I want to be able to enjoy and do the things that I've been doing in the past. I think it was a success. Wonderful. They were really good. I'll feel even better tomorrow, I'm sure. Phenomenal team here, too. No more leg pain. Okay. A little good. dizziness. No. I think people shouldn't suffer like they do for years and years yeah, and no search good. out and <laughs> find remedies and stuff. And if they know they're not working, um, they need to definitely come here to the Duke Spine. I think you've been watching this young lady move around our center now at Duke Spine Institute, the surgery center for the last 24 hours. She arrived from none other than Chicago yesterday and she's a nurse at a hospital in Chicago and she contacted me and said, Doc, my back's killing me. I've got pain everywhere on my back and it's going down my right leg. And uh, I know you fixed my neck with the laser surgery. Will you be able to fix my back? What do you have to say about that? Did we fix your back? It's an hour, an hour after your back surgery. You sure did. You sure did. Yeah. All right, good. You had bad, bad back pain when you walked in here. How The pain you had before your surgery, do you still have it? No. No. It's gone? It's gone. I have no pain in my right leg either. So your back pain's gone, your right leg pain's gone, it's cured. It is. Congratulations. Thank you, Doctor. You're another Duke. cure. A lot of people out there don't believe cures are possible. What do you have to say? I say do your research, uh, check, get a second opinion. Um, if you're looking for something minimally invasive, this is the place to go. Um, I also think um, if you're going to consider spinal surgery and you don't want the hardware and the traditional surgery that is taught in medical school for neurosurgeons, this is the place. And Dr. Duke is one of a kind, he's unique. He's the only doctor in the United States that does this, and I feel blessed that I found him. Well, thank you, and you know the truth is that, is that I have a lot of really good people around here to oh. support us, and they, they make this happen in a special way, and I appreciate it, and I'll take the thanks for all of them. Well, thank I want to thank them also, a phenomenal team here. Thank you to the team, and thank you to my hero. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, good morning. This is Dr. Duke Majin. I'm here with my lovely patient from Chicago who flew down here for the Duke laser disc repair and uh, she had some herniated discs in her lower back. We did her surgery yesterday and she's here this morning for a checkup. How are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful, really. Good. I'm an old new person. No pain. Yeah. No pain and I'm actually sitting. That's wonderful. Upright. All right, and the leg pain that you had all the time before leg surgery? Leg pain is gone, it's gone. I think um, you cured me. I, I don't really have the leg pain. I sat up right in the car all the way here with no pain. And so I don't you, have any pain right now either. Good, I'm very happy. I know you're gonna be sore from the procedures that we did. Um, we did a combination procedure for her because she had a lot going on. She had a little bit of pain in her co coccygeal ligament. We did an injection in that as well. She had some facet pain and she had discogenic pain along with radiculopathy. So uh, we treated all of her degenerative discs, stenosis, radiculopathy, back pain from the disc, back pain from the facets, pain from her SI joint and her coccyx ligament and the trochanteric bursitis. So long story short, if you make the right diagnoses on a patient and you treat those diagnoses with the specific treatments that work, which we do here at Duke Spine, patients get better and she's feeling great. Mm -hmm. Suzette is a, is a nurse and she's been a nurse for how many years? 31. 31 years. Time to retire. And have you been a nurse in Chicago for 31 years? Yeah. And you work at the hospital all the time? Yes, I do. I work uh, through the Rush Network. I work at Rush Copley Medical Center. The reason I mention it is that you're in Chicago at Rush and Rush is a prestigious uh, medical college, and prestigious hospital system. So you have access in in Chicago to the top 
neurosurgeons and in orthopedic surgeons for the spine. And yet you chose to come to Duke Spine Institute here in, in uh, Florida for your spine surgeries. And why is that? Well, I met with three neurosurgeons in the Chicago area, and all of them had a different technique on how to fix my neck. And um, they didn't have any training in Dr. Duke's technique or repair, and it included a lot of hardware in your neck, a lot of manipulation, and some horrific side effects. And uh, I just wanted to tell you, I do, my brother is fused in his spine. He just wishes this surgery was available uh, 20 years ago because he's had six surgeries since then. And I know as well with my research, once you start doing those procedures, you can get adjacent segment disease and you're looking at other surgery down the road and you never really get true pain relief. Mm -hmm. I instantly was out of pain relief with both these surgeries as soon as I hit the recovery room. Um, and I'm pain free right now. I, it's amazing how pain affects your life. And how do you feel about having spine surgery outside of a hospital? Do you think it could be better or is it worse? Oh, well, that's what I like too. I like the idea that I was looking at a prolonged stay with my neck, they told me I had to stay in a narrow ICU for five days. This was all done outpatient. You're basically recovered uh, within 30 minutes in the recovery room and you go home in several hours. No hospital stay, which is really nice and it cuts down on the cost too. So I hope insurance companies get wise. Yeah. Get wise or train. I'm hoping Dr. Duke lives to be 100 or train somebody else. So the, the point that she's making here is, is really that with her herniated discs in her neck and her back, most spine surgeons are going to tell you to have a fusion surgery or put metal in your body. And she wanted something other than that, and she found the Duke Spine Institute where we perform endoscopic spine surgery. We repair the same conditions that other surgeons fuse. And we do it in a one-hour surgery with an incision that's seven millimeters, um, and the patients go home usually an hour right after surgery. So, you happy with your decision? Absolutely, absolutely. Anything else you wanna to say to the world before we wrap this up? I just like to tell everybody, if you're looking for a second opinion, or you're suffering, come down to see Dr. Duke. And his response time is very quick. <laughs> Uh, he will fix you and get you out of pain. You'll have a whole new quality of life. God Great. bless you, Dr. Joe. God bless you, too. Great to see you. Back to Chicago. Bye, Florida.